In this video, I will solve this problem, which is the derivative of an integral. And we have to find the derivative of this function respect to x of the integral from 0 to x squared of e to the t x plus t dt. Here we have to be careful because we have t and x inside there. Now we can say that x is a constant in the integral. I mean, we have to, and we can put the constant out, but we have the, the, the derivative of respect to x of the integral of from zero to x squared of e to the t times e to the x dt and x e to the x can be outside the integral the derivative, the derivative respect to x of e to the x times the integral from zero to x square e of e to the t dt and now we have to do a product rule here the derivative of the first is e to the x times the integral, the second, the integral from zero to x squared of e to the t dt plus, now we did the, the derivative of the first, which is, was is e to the x, already we did it, I mean e to the x, and now we have to do the derivative of the integral, and we're gonna apply the fundamental theorem of calculus which is going to be e to the x evaluating x squared times the derivative of the inter limit of integration times 2x. Now, the first, this integral is very simple to solve because the integral of e to the x, e to the x. Now we have to evaluate e to the x, the integral of e, e to the e, t is e to the t, but we have to evaluate that in between 0 and and x and a square, and we're gonna have e to the t evaluating between zero and a square plus two x e to the x times e to the x square. And now we have e to the x here, this is gonna be e to the x square minus e to the zero, which is one plus 2x times e to the x times e to the x squared. Now, but the question is, we have to evaluate this derivative in one. We have to find, evaluate this in one. On the first derivative of h in one, we're gonna replace every x by one. But we here, we have more space. It's gonna be e to the one, which is e, e to the x, one square is gonna be e minus one plus two times one e to the one, which is e, and e to the one square, which is e also. And we're gonna have e times e, e square, e times negative one is negative e, plus two times e times e is e square. And then we're gonna have Combining like terms, we're going to have this is what, uh, e, and then we're going to have 3e e squared minus e. And let's see which one is the answer there. The answer is e. People get confused because they start applying the, the fundamental theorem of calculus without considering that e to the x is a constant respect to t, and they don't do the product rule. I think 50% of people have this wrong.